welcome back to my YouTube channel. So if you guys saw my IG stories or if you guys saw my YouTube community post, today we are answering your top nutrition questions. So I thought this would be a fun video to do because obviously my channel is about fitness, but nutrition is a huge part in your journey. So I thought I would answer your most frequently asked questions today. Okay, so we have everything on my laptop so i'm just going to read the questions pretend i'm interviewing myself yeah and that's really it to be honest so let's get going guys so first question what should i eat if i want to build muscle to me the answer is simple it is protein protein is the best source of food to be eating when you want to build muscle there are so many benefits to eating protein anyway but one of them is building muscle so i would really prioritize that over anything when you are doing your exercises question number two does protein help with weight loss yes it does like i said there are so many benefits to eating protein and it can also help you in your weight loss journey the reason being is it is said that it can help to boost your metabolism which helps you burn calories a lot faster and also along with eating a lot of protein it helps to reduce your appetite so the more protein that you eat in your diet and the more that you focus on that that being the first thing that you consume so say for example if for your dinner you had you know chicken with some sweet potato and a salad i would prioritize eating the protein because that's going to help keep yourself full of longer essentially which means you're going to eat less and you're going to consume less calories which will lead to weight loss along with that protein is a really good source again like i said helping to build the muscle so while you are losing weight it's going to help to maintain and build that muscle up to give you that toned look that you're looking for if that's what you're looking for <laughs> Third question, what do I think about intermittent fasting? This seems to be a very popular question. So I used to do intermittent fasting myself. This must have been about three years ago. Um, I really liked it at the time because it just really fitted in with my lifestyle choice at the time. And I think intermittent fasting is a good thing to do, but if it's done in the right way. The problem with intermittent fasting sometimes is that where say you skip breakfast you then don't make up for the calories in your other meals between your hours and that can be the problem sometimes with intermittent fasting so i suggest if you're going to give it a go just start slowly maybe do a couple of days a week but please make sure that you're consuming enough calories for yourself in your time frame so if you say you're skipping breakfast just make sure that you're adding the additional calories from breakfast into your lunch and dinner and even your snacks throughout the day because it's really really important you don't want to affect your body going to starvation mode etc etc so Make sure you're having the calories but if any of you guys are wondering do i intermittent fast no i don't like i said i used to the reason now is because i had a baby and i was hungry especially breastfeeding uh starving and then since having eva i'm still hungry so yeah i don't intermittent fast i like having my breakfast in the morning too much carbs are they good or bad i see carbs as a good thing i love carbs carbs are vital for your macronutrients please do not skip out on carbs you need to include them in your meals just make sure when you are consuming carbs, you're not eating the bad carbs. So I'm talking about things that just basically get transferred into sugar straight away. That will be, you know, foods such as cakes, crisps, you know, white pasta, white bread, all of those things convert straight away into sugar in the body and that's what can lead to weight gain. If you're gonna eat carbs, make sure you're sticking to whole grains. So, you know, you're sticking to brown pasta, brown bread, seeded bread. You're gonna also be going for a lot of nuts and things full of fiber, such as beans, pulses. Those are the things that you wanna be consuming and focusing on. Even having sweet potato and white potato even is a good source to have because it's not processed. So. When I have my carbs, I do love to have in the morning, if I have a shake, I make sure I whack in some oats in there for my carbs. You know, it helps me with my energy and it also helps me to use my carbs as an energy source during my workouts. And I will always make sure I have every single thing, micronutrient, macronutrients with my meal. So I will have carbs, fats, protein. That's what I like to focus on. So carbs, they are bloody fantastic. Who doesn't like carbs anyway? And, you know, I do like pizzas and stuff. Yes, I know that's not a good carb all the time, but you're allowed to treat yourself, people. It's important. Okay, how frequently do you eat? This is so random. This was like one of the most frequently asked questions. Um, so, do you know what? It actually really does depend on the day because I'm not gonna lie to you, there are days where I am really busy, um, so I forget to eat sometimes and I have to remind myself to eat, but, 
Most on a day-to-day -day basis, I eat every three to four hours. That's what I like to do. So I will have my breakfast, I will have my lunch, a snack and a dinner and then a dessert. That's what I like to do. Um, so like I said, every three to four hours is how frequently I eat. Struggling to get enough protein. What other protein packed ideas do you have other than shakes? So some options that I like to have for protein if I'm not say looking at shakes as a snack um, would be boiled eggs. I love boiled eggs, you know, just a quick snack to have. I love having celery and peanut butter. I think that's a really good combo or even if you guys try raspberries and peanut butter, that's a really good source. Greek yogurt is actually one of my favorite sources of getting in protein. I know it sounds weird, but I actually really love having that. Um, and yes, okay, protein, we just said protein shakes, but we're trying to avoid that one. But those are actually my go-to sources that I would go for. Um, you know, you can have like slices of turkey or chicken, I guess, if you want to have that. But for me, that's the sources that I would go for. How much protein do you consume on a day-to-day -day basis? So I actually have a protein calculator um, in Pink Dragon that you guys can use if you are members. Um, I'm not sure if you guys can access it if you're not. I'll have to check that one and then let you know. If you can, I'll put it in the description box below. And if it's not there, really sorry, it's only for Pink Dragon people. Um, but I actually try to, on a daily basis, a minimum get 100 grams of protein in. It does vary on your weight, how much you should be having, but I try and get at least 100 grams in if I can. Um, you would have to track your macros to see if you are getting that. Like I said, I try to. I don't know if I do hit it all the time um, because I actually don't track my macros or calories. Uh, but I know it is minimum 100 though because when I used to track it, that's what it was prior to having either. Next question, is eating sugar-free a healthy decision and how does it affect your energy for workouts? And um, to be honest, when you're saying sugar-free, you actually can't be completely sugar-free because there's natural sugars found in things like fruits. Um, but if you're talking about being sugar-free in the sense of processed, yes, it can be healthy, but I think healthy has a wide term. I think healthy eating for me, for example, is making sure that I'm not eating processed foods. Um, and I'm trying to go as whole and as natural as possible. Um, but I do think making your life as processed sugar-free as possible is really good for your health. Yes, it has so many amazing health benefits, I think personally. Um, and does it affect workouts? No. For me, like I said, so the ways that I will try and make sure that I make healthy choices is I don't put sugar in any of my foods, I don't drink sodas, um, I rarely drink alcohol, and when I have chocolate, I switch from milk to dark. But does it affect workouts? No, because I use my carbs as a source of energy for my workouts. That's how I fuel my body and that's how I get ready for my workouts and that's what I use as a fuel to work out. So no, I don't think it affects your um, workout sessions. Next question. What are some nutritious meals you recommend that keep you full so you don't feel hungry on a diet? protein so protein is like the main source like i said that's what you want to be focusing on but let's oh my god i need to drop my laptop okay <laughs> that would not have been funny okay but you said what meals will keep me full okay so one of the meals that really keep me full in the morning is an omelette packed with green vegetables that honestly is a meal that keeps me so full for long or protein pancakes with peanut butter and loads of berries i literally stay full for like three four hours straight no issue whatsoever when i have that if we're talking about lunch and dinner if you make yourself a chicken salad but pack it with a bunch of stuff so one of the salads i had yesterday actually was so delicious i made salads and leaves obviously tomatoes chicken and then i put black beans and cucumber in it it was so good and then i even put mangoes in there it was delicious but salads that are packed out really do keep you full for long and then also if you're looking at other meals such as dinner you can make yourself a turkey chili and um, my sister while she was here she made a corn chili for me packed with again loads of beans that was so filling and amazingly delicious so trying things like that um having chicken with sweet potatoes having a carb sauce will um, really help to keep you full as well there's a bunch honestly i'm trying to think what i eat on a daily basis chicken turkey i'm so boring 
But yeah, any meals like that that I think, again, contain all three things are really going to help keep you full for longer. So have a source of protein, carbs, and then a bunch of veggies, I think really do help keep you fuller for longer. So those are some examples. If you want more, let me know in the comments and I will try to add it to the description box. I've literally got like memory blankness. That's probably not even a word, but that's what I have. <laughs> so third and final question, guys, is how do you work out your daily macros? So off the top of my head, I'm assuming you would need a calculator for that online. To be honest, it really does depend on your goals and I do think your body type. Um, in Pink Dragon, I really do promote and follow a macros of 40% protein and then 30 carbs, 30 fat. The reason being is that, it, like I said, the protein helps to keep you full of the longer, it helps to build muscle and it helps to repair your body after you've done a workout. I've been following this and feel like it not only got me in the best shape of my life, it also really helped me during pregnancy and also postpartum. It's really helped since I've stopped breastfeeding because not gonna lie, while I was breastfeeding, I didn't focus that much on it because uh, I was hungry all the time, feeding another human. But after I've been a bit more on it and I feel like I really am getting back to myself because like I said, I'm predominantly focused on protein. Those are the macros that I tend to follow and in terms of calculating yours, I would try to focus on 40, 30, 30. If you want to track your macros, a um, app that I use is called Chronometer. Really good, it literally breaks it down to how much you've had depending on what you've eaten throughout the day. And um, so I would try and use that ratio. And if you need to say, figure out what your protein exactly intake would be, you can find calculators online. If not, like I said, if I can give you guys access, I will link the calculator below for you so you guys can figure it out for yourselves but that's what I would focus on but like I said it does depend on what your goals are and um, but I always recommend it to my girls 40 30 30 so I honestly would try giving that a go see how it works out for you and then uh, keep me updated guys that's the end of the questions we just kept the video short but I actually had so much I love doing Q&A videos because I always do workouts but I feel like Q&A's are really fun because you guys we get to like know each other like we're on a coffee date here it's really fun but I hope you guys really did enjoy this video if you did don't forget to give me a like and subscribe to my YouTube channel because it really does help and please let me know in the comments below if you enjoyed this style video because if you did I'll be sure to do some more Q&A styles but that is it from me and yeah that's it basically i'll be back next week with a fabulous workout video for you all but other than that guys have an amazing week and i will catch you next tuesday bye